My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. The 2020 Corvette, probably the most highly anticipated Corvette in Corvette history. Completely redesigned, rear engine car, and then they had a strike, and then COVID struck. Very, very limited production. They have so many orders, thousands and thousands of orders for these cars that will never be filled because before you know it, the 2021s are going to be produced. This is going to go down in history as one of the most collectible Corvettes of all time. This one's got 18 actual miles. It's here. It's available right now for delivery. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can study all the pictures, read all the specs, and get the price. Not only this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in a 2020 Corvette. This one here is stunning. It's got the adrenaline red interior against the jet black paint. I think it's striking. Uh, a few more little upgrades it has. The red painted calipers. It has the carbon fiber hashtag decals. And even the little uh, polished center cap has a little red stripe. That was an option on this car. Uh, by moving the engine to the back, it puts all the horsepower right to the wheel. You don't lose it in the drive line. You get better traction. They're able to lower the whole cowl, just give the whole car a different uh, look, a different stance. It's a 6.2 liter, 495 horsepower, 470 pounds of torque, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Uh, top speed is... I don't remember, but it was an upper 175 or 185 miles an hour or something like that. Uh, if you go to GM's website, they do a good job of describing it much better than I could do. Uh, but the car is incredible. Uh, lightweight aluminum wheels painted silver. They're staggered size. They're 20s in back, 19s in front. They got Pilot Sport uh, run flat all season tires. <clears throat> There's no handles on the car. Everything opens electronically. Uh, we'll start up here. They call it a frunk because it's a trunk in the front. There you go. There's buttons inside the car, buttons on the remote. It's got these really cool headlights. Just razor edge design. It's just very cool. Uh, you have storage here. Obviously still brand new. The, the car is virtually new. It's underneath the car. You could eat off of it. I said electronic doors, has a remote start, still has stickers on the sill plates. Now these are the GT1 seats, soft leather, eight-way power on each side. They really hold you in place. And this has got the red accent stitching all over, including on the steering wheel, a really sharp uh, looking interior. These things come loaded up with options. It's a Bose 10 speaker stereo system. The T-top stores right here. It lifts right out. Uh, the motor is visible right through the window when it's shut. I don't know if you noticed it, but you could look right at the motor. Uh, this is the eight-speed automatic. Uh, it has a control on the console, or you can use the paddle shifters. Uh, it has a really neat uh, reconfigurable display screen. It can, even can show you your G-force and your cornering and taking off and stopping. Uh, they call it vertical climate controls. That whole strip has all your climate controls. Um, just all sorts of neat features in here. Uh, racing style steering wheel, leather wrapped, power tilt telescopic wheel. Uh, another option on the window sticker is the floor mats. Uh, they're like $300 mats with red stitching on those as well. I will start it up in just a second, trying to think of what I might be forgetting here. But yeah, getting back to the rarity and collectability, um, I don't know the exact numbers. I forgot them, but it was thousands and thousands of orders were placed. They couldn't even fill a fraction of them. Like I said, there was a strike. And then right when they got going again, COVID struck. They shut down the plants. They built a few more. It's, they haven't done a good job getting these out to the public. So the 2020s 
you even see them advertised. A lot of times they're just trying to get your deposit and they'll get you one someday, some point. This is available right now for sale. Uh, visit volocars.com. All the books and manuals are still in the glove box. Uh, we've got the window sticker right here. Why don't I start it up for you? It is a remote start. I don't think it works with the doors open. So I'll just hop in it and start it. Well, I rev it up a couple times anyway. Yeah, it's gorgeous in here. I feel like I'm in the future. It's an electric push button to open the door. There's no handle. Now this here, you just set it down and it'll pull itself down and, and latch automatically. So you don't have to slam it. Incredible car. My grandson, when my grandson's selling cars here, he's going to wish we just kept this and put it away. Uh, I'm sure these are going to be worth a lot of money. They're going to go down in history, uh, in Corvette history, just American history. Uh, but anyway, go to the website, volocars.com. If you have any questions or concerns about the car, uh, plenty of ways on there to contact our salesmen. They can help you with that. They can also help arrange the delivery, financing. Uh, this still is under factory warranty, by the way, too. But they'll answer your questions. Uh, enjoy the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.